I want to show you guys something. This is the suffering that bacon causes. She's just broken, I can see it in her face. She's not even getting up to say hello. Oh my God, man. She looks barely alive, eh? Like, how the hell do they allow this, man? Oh my god. She has got feces all over her face. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's okay, darling. It's okay. She's terrified of us. She thinks we're a farmer. I don't know if they're abusing these animals in here, but judging by the way they're acting, probably. Stuck in this cage, can't turn around. Feces all over her face. What a horrible life. And I just want to know what the hell this is. Is that their idea of environmental enrichment? Like, is that something for them to play with? Like, is this what, is this what high welfare British farming looks like? a bit of wood on a chain. They're in a prison. They're in a prison. This is, this is standard practice here, by the way. This isn't like some, you know, isolated incident. These piglets who make up the meat industry, the pork industry, they all come from farrowing sheds like this. You know, this is standard practice. Oh my God, this is pretty common. She's got a sore on the side of her body. It's because they're rubbing up against the bars all day, that's why. So every single one of these mothers have a different expression on their face. They all have a different personality. They all look different. Um, same with the piglets. Look at you. Hello. 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 Hello, sweetie. Hello. She's got two different colored eyes. So bad that they're in here, man. See, they're just like dogs. She's she's very curious. She's not as afraid of me as the others were. Hello. Hello, darling. I think she's saying hello. I oh, know. She 
he's communicating with me, eh? Hey, sweetie. Intelligent beings, um, she's just communicating with me and I don't know, she's stuck in this cage like that. Hey beautiful, hello. pigs like this which is this is the life of you know these mother pigs and then you have sanctuaries where the pigs live in freedom without harm she must they must just go mad in here with nothing to do like to another one now. Some more mothers, really big this one here. She's been in here for a long time, back and forth. So they're, they're in here for six weeks at a time. They take their piglets away, they go dry out, get gestated again, get impregnated again. Then they have their piglets and they're back in here, you know, so it's a big cycle. Piglets taken impregnated, gestation, have their piglets, they're back in here. You know, it just must break them. They're just having multiple piglets taken off them constantly. It's just, and they're imprisoned. They're innocent beings. You know, th this is a dirty, filthy, disgusting facility here. Something out of a horror movie. If you were stuck in here, you would feel like you're in a Saw movie or something that's just, it's grotty, it's disgusting. They're imprisoned, they cannot move. Okay, they can't turn around. The only thing they get is this stupid bit of wood on a bloody chain, all right? And these are innocent beings. This is how human beings treat innocent beings. They have done nothing wrong. If these were human beings, you would think that they had committed some type of mass murder or something like that. They were incredibly guilty of some horrible crime. We don't even treat criminals like this. We treat innocent beings worse, way worse, than we treat the worst criminals on earth. And how's that for an injustice? The only crime they committed was being born a different species. Their wet little noses like dogs, eh? Okay, we've got a piglet over here that's really sick. You see this one over in the corner here. Look at this one here. Darling. Can you see her face? She's like, just, she's massive, man. She, she's almost pushing the bars open, man. She's that big. She's almost bigger than the bars will allow. She's just, cr she's crushed up against this bar. Like, look at that. Like, she's, she's essentially in a cage that's 
too small for her. Like, how the hell do they allow this, man? And on such a massive scale as well, like this is standard. These are standard, standard practice. That's why I tell people like, if you are against enslavement, imprisonment and torture, you shouldn't be eating bacon, that's for sure. And these are, this is a British farm, a British English farm that looks like something out of a horror movie. What do you think she's trying to communicate to me like when she's doing that? Like, do you think she's saying something like, why are you doing this to me? Or I'm suffering or help me out of here? You know, when you first walk into this place, all of them, all you smell is feces. It's really bad. There's a, there's a grate at the bottom here that collects all their feces. And this, imagine how many tons of feces are being collected from factory farms. And what do they do with that feces after a while? It's just massive pits full of waste. It's all right, darling. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. They all look so different, all different personalities. We're gonna have a look through again. It's okay, darling. Oh. I mean, I only have to be in here for 10, 15 minutes and they have to live in here. That smell, that pigs are really clean animals. They don't like to, to go to the toilet where they sleep. They go to the toilet far away from where they sleep. I remember at Edgar's Mission Animal Sanctuary, the pigs would, would go to the toilet as far away as possible from where they, they slept. And they're actually incredibly clean animals. Yeah. They like to go to the toilet as far away from where they sleep yep. as possible. Yeah. We're kind of walking through their toilet area right now. Oh, wait, oh, okay. <laughs> and they like to sleep in clean hay. They build a little nest for themselves and their families, but they're, they're, they're covered in feces. They're living on top of feces. All they smell all day is feces. And pigs have a really sensitive sense of smell. This is just so wrong. Her face. Look how sad, look how sad her face is. Oh my God, man, she looks barely alive, eh? She is suffering incredibly. Look at her. So I've been in prison before, I've been in G Division, solitary confinement, and just being in cold, still rooms like this with nothing to do is horrible, but I wasn't in a cage where I couldn't even turn around. I don't know what that would be like, I just, I mean, this is worse than any prisoner of war camp you've ever seen. This is just terrible. And uh, they're highly intelligent beings. They're feeling every single second of this suffering and there's no way out for them. Only one way out and that's a horrible, violent and painful death. Um, it must be really sad for them to get freedom and when they finally get freedom, they go onto a truck and go to a horrible gas chamber. Okay, so these piglets are bigger. She's got flies all over her, look. Okay, there's only a few in here. I'm not sure why, but uh... They're 
Let me go. These more sows, they're all sleeping. These must be the gestation pens. They must have been served. And now they're in here gestating or drying off one of the two, but they did ban gestation crates in the UK, but they still have farrowing crates. Hey darling, hello. Hey sweetie. This is a massive piglet breeding facility. It's, you know, there's just so many mothers in there suffering when they're coming back into here and it's just this big cycle of suffering and until they're exhausted and their bodies can't be used anymore, then they're slaughtered. When you buy a sausage roll, make sure you buy a vegan sausage roll because you could be eating the suffered body of one of these mothers. Okay, so that's this location done. So please don't forget the faces of those suffering mothers. Think of them when you're sitting at home in comfort, they're stuck in prisons, covered in feces, having piglets stolen from them, being you know, impregnated, cycles of violence and suffering that they have to see. They probably have to witness their piglets being thumped on the ground when they're not growing fast enough. These animals are in literal hell. Put yourself in the animal's position. It's a horror story in there. So please boycott pork products, boycott all animal products. This is the UK, so-called high welfare farming. This is disgusting, but you know, it's just so eye-opening. Every single shed you go into, there's different personalities, different uh, beings suffering in different ways. It's just uh, horrible to witness, but we're gonna head to an, another location in the next video, so let's do this.